a brand new, unique innovation from Kitagawa Europe, the Kitagawa Measuring Gripper. And today we have the privilege to be reviewing this Measuring Gripper in the UK for the very first time. Steve, welcome to the MTD Technical Corner, and, and I can't wait to learn about the latest and unique innovation from Kitagawa Europe, which is going to be supplied in the UK from First MTA. Thank you, Gia. Glad to be here. Tell me all about it. This is our new measure and gripper head for a robot. So what we've done, we, we've now got a robot head that can measure, so not just pick and place, sort, put in, remove from the machine, this will now measure the component as well as, so it's removing a process. Wow, wow. That, that is something that I've never seen before. Now, what kind of benefits do you expect the engineers to see from this new innovation? Oh, it's huge benefits. Uh, now, when you're machining components, you have much more confidence to run longer overnight, so every single component can be measured while it's been removed the machine, so you can measure two, three diameters or a length. So you can qualify what's going on with your components, keep the call the components intolerance and sort them in right bins. You mentioned diameters, but can it also measure prismatic parts? Yeah, it can. Yeah, I'm a, we can measure most things. The, the, the actual base jaws are designed for each different job. So either we can design them or you will with our help. You'll make a comparator and then qualify those diameters or lengths as you will with a micrometer. So it's qualified, the machine set up, and then this will carry on and measure those components. What are the strokes and do they come in different sizes? Uh, we've got different sizes. This one in particular has got a 20.8 mil stroke, so that's halved either side, so 10.4. So you can measure anything in that range. And what does it measure to? Uh, we'll measure inside eight microns. Within eight so, microns? Yeah, we, wow. we say eight microns, but we know that's going to be better than that. So you mentioned you can run with this overnight confidently, checking the components, mm. but what if, um, for example, one of the components drifted out of tolerance, would it stop the process overnight until the next morning, until uh, the, the, the guys come back in to, to run the machine? Yeah, what we'll do, if a component reaches a, an outer tolerance, the, the unit, will act, you can sort it in, into a scrap bin and then that will report back to the machine if you have sister tooling or tool offsets will be adjusted. So the component after then should be back in tolerance and it will continue running. So when you run overnight, normally you could run a robot overnight, but you could get two or three hours of scrap or problems. You should only lose one or two components. Fantastic. On that. Fantastic. So you're not going to lose any production effectively. You've got much more confidence to run longer. This will be checking, reporting back to the machine. So in the morning when someone comes in, inspection can come over and do some spot checks and then just qualify what's happened overnight. But this will keep you intolerant. So to summarise just up into this, to this point of the technical corner so far, there's a lot to talk about. Yep. Brand new innovation, obviously. Um, you're saving an inspection process. Yep. Um, you're inspecting overnight with full peace of mind um, that your components are going to be within tolerance. And if it did drift out of tolerance, it can communicate with the machine tool to bring the components back into tolerance and you're obviously saving a lot of, of money by introducing and being more productive by introducing this, this gripper um, on, in, into your automation process. Yeah, yeah, we are. So it's, it is a game changer. So at first MTA, you, you, you're already heavily invested with automated solutions in work holding, um, in automation, and this is a fantastic addition. Um, how important is automation to you? Uh, automation is, is paramount. We've got to automate. We need to keep moving forward. Uh, it's good for all the economies. Uh, obviously, this unit's been designed. It's being used out in Japan in production lines. We can now bring that forward to this country and just, just keep pushing forward automation. We need to be more productive. So this is, you're practicing what you preach in Japan with this technology. When will it be readily available for engineers to buy in the UK? It, it's now available. Brilliant. So it's here. We can work with each, each OEM manufacturer, whoever. Well, Steve, thank you very much from myself and all of the MTD team for giving us the opportunity to review this for the very first time in the UK. 
If you have a robot, if you are automating, if you're on your automation journey and you've not yet, or if you've not yet automated, get in touch with First NTA to find out more and I'm sure that they will have a solution for you. Thank you very much, Steve. Thank you, Gio.